This is the Happy Energy Guide to using the Room in Roof Checklist and calculating the Room in Roof Pommy and Popped. Quick reminder, um, these are the main areas of a Room in Roof which you're probably all aware of. Um, you've got the uh, uh, flat ceiling area, uh, cable and party wall. As with the EPC scores and the previous scoring, you still need to either insulate the cable and the party or deduct them from the deemed score as a percentage. Uh, you have the sloped area here, uh, the studs, and then the residual areas at the side. Uh, dormer windows, again, same as the party wall, you either got to insulate them or deduct them from the area. So moving on to, um, this would be the deemed score survey, so there's a little plan we've drawn. So this example is going to be a, a small two bed dormer bungalow. Um, we've got a small flat roof extension at the back here. Um, and sort of, you can see the residual areas here, two bedrooms, living room, dining room, kitchen, toilet. So it's about six by 6.3 meters. Um, so we're just going to fill in the um, some of the figures on here. So I will zoom in to make it a bit easier. So we'll have 10 square meters of flat ceiling. And it asks us if it's already been insulated or not, so we'll say no. And in this instance, we'll put 300 mil of happy wool in there. And we're going to insulate all 10 square meters. Uh, stud walls, also 10, also not insulated. And we'll put 100 mil of happy wool in. Uh, sleeping ceilings are 20 meters square. Uh, in line with the NIA and ATMA guide that's been annexed in PAS, uh, we obviously need to overboard this now. So we're going to use a 60 mil happy board, which will be our insulation back plaster board. And we're going to insulate all 20 square meters of the slopes. Uh, we have 10 meters squared of gable and party that are not insulated. Uh, remember, these need to both be either insulated or deducted from the score. Uh, we're not insulating these, so not. And um, we'll just say, in this instance, customer refusal. Uh, dormer windows, we have five square meters. Again, we're not insulating those because there's not enough space and the customer's not happy to do that. Um, are you insulating the residual area? Yes. Uh, you might not be able to see it on here, but it doesn't actually ask us for how many square meters are insulated. With the residual, you either do the whole thing or you don't claim it at all. So if you, if you do less than the 100% for the residual area, you just can't claim the score. But we are insulating it, and we're putting our lovely 300 mil of happy wool in again. So that gives us 65 square meters of potential uh, surface area within the room and roof, and we've insulated 40 square meters. So. Um, in terms of percent of measure installed, that's 40 divided by 65, which gives us 61.5%. Now, when we calculate the uh, popped for room and roof, it's uh, slightly different to how you'd imagine. You don't take the areas from above, so it's not um, the 65 square meters. We're not looking at the entire surface area. We're actually looking at the floor plan of the building. So if I just take you back to my drawing... Uh, we look at the as if effectively the floor of the rooming roof, so that's six by six point three. We then have to add in um, all of the other roof areas. So in this case, we have ten square meters of flat roof. So in my example here, uh, we have forty eight meters squared of total roof area, and the rooming roof plus residual area makes up thirty eight square meters of that. So we then do a calculation, divide one by the other, gives us 79.2%. That's effectively our starting point. So if our DEEM score was 100 tonnes, we can now only claim 79.2% of that. So our DEEM score starts at 79.2 tonnes. Even though the flat roof you know, has nothing to do with the rooming roof, it has to be deducted for the popped. Um, then it says take the percent of measure installed from above. So that's 61.5%. And... We just move it across and we multiply one by the other and that gives us 48.7% which rounded to the nearest 10% gives us 50%. So to make it easier for you there, here's one I prepared earlier that's a bit neater. So what we're looking at, um, obviously starting with the DEEM score of say 100, uh, 100 tonnes, 
we can now only claim 50% of that, so we can claim 50 tonnes. If we'd insulated the residual area, we'd claim 50% of the score for the room and roof with the residual area. Uh, if we didn't insulate or we didn't do 100% of the residual area, then we'd just be claiming 50% of the room and roof, not including the residual area score. So hopefully you followed that and uh, look forward to the next guides.